Okay, so where do we begin? Well, we're going to start with the concept of demand, as this is one of the most basic forces that drives all economic activity. But what is it? What is an economist's definition of demand? Well, it says here, demand is the quantity of a good or service that potential buyers are willing and able to purchase. The first important term in this definition is the quantities of a good or service. This is represented by the symbol QD and refers to how much of something is demanded. An increase in the quantity demanded means that a greater quantity of the good or service is demanded, and vice versa. The second important term is potential buyers, referring to people who are prospective or possible buyers of the product. Demand, therefore, refers to what buyers plan or intend to do. It does not mean that the quantity demanded will definitely be bought. For example, if I told you that some decent shoes were being sold at 200 rand per pair, you might make plans to buy a pair. But if the price of those shoes were to drop to 50 rand, you might prefer more of them, maybe three pairs. But that's only a maybe. From the information concerning the price of the shoes, we can only say what you might do if the price were to be a certain amount. We can't say what you will actually end up doing once you get to the shop. The third important part of our definition is willing to purchase. To be considered part of the demand for something, I must at least want it and be willing to buy it. So, now, let's assume for one fantastical moment that I'm mega rich. So, now, I might be able to afford this fine Aston Martin, but since I'm not James Bond, I'm far too sensible than to spend 2.6 million rand on a new car. So, while I might be able to purchase it, because I'm not willing to, I'm not considered part of the demand for this Aston Martin. Hang on, who am I kidding? I love an Aston Martin. Getting back to reality, I'm fortunately, I'm just not rich enough for one of these. And as much as I might look good in one, I'm just not able to buy it. This last qualification, being able to purchase, is an important one, giving real weight to the concept of demand. Wanting and longing for something does not in itself make me part of the demand for it. To be part of the demand for it, I must also be able to purchase it. So, much as I'd like to be, I'm not part of the demand for this Aston Martin because I don't have the 2.6 million rand I need to buy it. So, there it is. Demand is the quantity of any good or service that potential buyers are willing and able to purchase. Now, with that in mind, let's work through a few examples. Let me ask you this. People want houses, so am I right in saying there's a high demand for houses? That's correct. The example is incomplete. Okay, another one. You may think opening a steakhouse restaurant's a good idea. Many people enjoy a good steak. Maybe, but the truth is that for a lot of people it's very expensive and they can't afford it on a regular basis. Remember, wanting something is not enough to make you part of the demand for it. You must also have the purchasing power to be able to buy it.